The Tale of the Dead Princess and the Seven Knights by Alexander Pushkin. With his suite, the Tsar departed, the Tsaritsa, tender-hearted, at the window, sat alone, wishing he would hurry home. Not a sign of her beloved, nothing but the snowflakes hurried, heaping drifts upon the lee. Earth was white as white could be. Nine long months she sat and waited, kept her vigil unabated. Then from God on Christmas Eve, she a daughter did receive. Next day, early in the morning, love and loyalty rewarding, home again from travel far, came at last the father's are. One fond glance at him she darted, gasped for joy with thin lips parted, then fell back upon her bed, and by prayer time was dead. Long the Tsar sat, lonely, brooding, but he too was only human. Tears for one sad year he shed, and another woman wed. She, if one be strictly truthful, was a born Tsaritsa, useful. Slim, tall, fair to look upon, clever, witty, and so on. But she was in equal measure, stubborn, haughty, willful, jealous. In her dowry, rich and vast, was a little looking glass. It had this unique distinction. It could speak with perfect diction. Only with this glass would she in a pleasant humor be. Many times a day she'd greet it and coquettishly entreat it. Tell me, pretty looking glass, nothing but the truth I ask. Who in all the world is fairest and has beauty of the rarest? And the looking glass replied, You, it cannot be denied. You and all the world are fairest, and your beauty is the rarest. All this time, the Tsar's own daughter, quietly, as nature taught her, grew and grew and came quite soon like a flower into bloom. Raven-browed, of fair complexion, breathing kindness and affection. And the choice of fiancé lighted on Prince Yelisei. On the night before the wedding, for a bridal party dressing, the Tsaritsa, time to pass, chatted with her looking-glass. Who in all the world is fairest and has beauty of the rarest? Then what did the glass reply? You are fair, I can't deny. But the princess is the fairest, and her beauty is the rarest. Oh, you loathsome looking glass, telling lies as bold as brass. By what right is she my rival? Such young folly I shall bridle. Now look here, explain to me, how can she the fairer be? Scour this realm of ours and seek well. Nowhere you, shall you find my equal. Is that not the truth? She cried. Still the looking glass replied. But the princess is the fairest, and her beauty is the rarest. chambermaid, and to her instructions gave. Take the princess to the forest, bind her hand and foot and forehead, to a tree. When wolves arrive, let them eat the girl alive.
Well, demanded the Tsaritsa, where's that pretty little creature? In the forest on her own, Smudged replied, and there she'll stay. To a tree I firmly lashed her. When a hungry beast attacks her, she'll have little time to cry, and the quicker she shall die. Rumors spread and caused a panic. What, the Tsar's own daughter vanished? Mournful was the Tsar that day. But the young Prince Yelisei offered God a fervent prayer and departed then and there to seek out and homeward guide his sweet-tempered, useful bride. Said the eldest, how amazing, also neat, fire blazing. Somebody's been cleaning here and is waiting somewhere near. Who is there? Come out of hiding. Be a friend in peace abiding. If you're someone old and whore, be our uncle evermore. If you're young and love a scuffle, 
will embrace you as a brother. If venerable dame, then shall mother be your name. If the maiden fair, we'll call you our dear sister and adore you. Days flew by, the princess living all the time without misgiving, in the forest, never bored, with the seven knights abroad. Darkness would the earth still cover, when at dawn the seven brothers would ride out to try their luck, with a longbow, shooting duck. And in time, they grew to love her. Thereupon, all seven brothers, shortly after dawn one day, to her chamber made their way. And the eldest knight addressed her. As you know, you are our sister. But all seven of us here are in love with you, my dear. And we all desire your favors, but that must not be. God save us. Find some way to give us peace. Be a wife to one at least. To the rest, remain a sister. But you shake your head, is this to say our offer you refuse? Nothing from our stock you'll choose? Oh, my brave and bonny brothers, virtuous beyond all others. In reply, the princess said, God in heaven, strike me dead, if my answer be not honest. I've no choice, my hand is promised. You're all equal in my eyes, all so valiant and wise. And I love you all, dear brothers, but my heart is to another. Pledged forevermore, one day I shall wed Prince Yelisei. As you wish, so now we know, said the eldest with a bow. Pray forgive us, and I promise you'll hear nothing further from us. I'm not angry, she replied. By my pledge, I must abide. Greetings, pretty looking glass. Tell me all the truth, I ask. Who in all the world is fairest and has beauty of the rarest? Said the mirror in reply, You are fair, I can't deny. But where seven knights go riding, in a green oak grove residing, humbly lives a person who is far more beautiful than you.
Had a bad night's sleep, I reckon, said the princess. Catch it, there! And the bread flew through the air. I most humbly thank you, daughter. God be merciful, said she. In return, take this from me. Enjoy the apple. At you leisure, little pet. Thank you for the loaf of bread, said the beggar woman brandished in the air her stick and vanished. With pure love did we regard you, for your loved one did we guard you, but you came not to the groom, only to a chill, dark tomb. Who is now by far the fairest, and has beauty of the rarest? And the answer, satisfied. You, it cannot be denied. You and all the world are fairest, and your beauty is the rarest. In pursuit of his sweet bride, through the country, far and wide, still Prince Yelise goes riding, weeping bitterly, no tidings. Now to the bright sun and zeal did the bold young prince appeal. Sun, dear sun, the whole year coursing through the sky in springtime sighing from the chill earth, winter snow, you observe us all below. Surely you'll not grudge an answer. Tell me, did you ever chance to see the princess I revere? I'm her fiance. My dear, said the sun with some insistence. I have nowhere seen your princess, so she's dead, we must presume. That is, if my friend, the moon, hath not met her on his travels, or seen clues you may unravel. (laughs) 
Through the dark night, Yelly say, feeling anything but gay, with a lover's perseverance, waited for the moon's appearance. Moon! Oh, moon, my friend, he said. Gold of horn and round of head, from the darkest shadows rising, with your eye the world apprising, you whom stars with love regard, as you mount your nightly guard, surely you'll not grudge an answer. Tell me, did you ever chance to see the princess I revere? I'm her fiancé. Oh dear, said the moon in consternation. No, I have not seen the maiden. On my round I only go when it is my turn, you know. It would seem that I was resting when she passed. Oh, very vexing, cried aloud Prince Yeli saying. But the moon went on to say, Wait a minute, I suggest you. Have the wind come to the rescue. Call him now. It's worth a try. And cheer up a bit. Goodbye. Wind, oh wind, lord of the sky, herding flocks of clouds on high, stirring up the dark blue ocean, setting all the air in motion, and afraid of anyone, saving God and heaven alone. Surely you'll not grudge an answer. Tell me, did you ever chance to see the princess I revere? I'm her fiancé. Oh, here, said the wind in turmoil blowing. Where a quiet stream is flowing, stands a mountain high and steep. In it lies a cavern deep. In this cave in shadows dismal, Sways a coffin made of crystal, hung by chains from pillar six. Round it, barren land in which no man ever meets another. In that tomb, the bride discover. in all the world is fairest and has beauty of the rarest said the mirror in reply you are fair i can't deny but the princess is the fairest and her beauty is the rarest
Overcome by grief and spite, the Tsaritsa died that night. From the grave where she was buried to a wedding, people hurried. Does a good Prince Yelisei wed his princess that same day? Never since the world's creation was there such a celebration. The end.